Yeah, let's go. I'm unstoppable, do the impossible. I'm irresponsible. Yeah, I'm phenomenal. I got an arsenal. I'm dropping bombs, you know. This is the UFC Vegas 3 complete results. Lightweight up-and-comer Austin Hubbard was patient in his bout with Max Roscoff, biding his time until a second-round offensive burst led to a TKO victory. Roscoff went right for the takedown to start round two and he got it, but again, it was Hubbard quickly rising to his feet, and as the newcomer tired, Thub began landing more and more, jarring his foe midway through the frame while marking his face up with strikes. The continued barrage, coupled with the fatigue, apparently did the job for Hubbard, as Roskopf was unable to come out of his corner for the final round. With the win, Denver's Hubbard moves to 12-4, while Roskopf, who took the fight on short notice, replacing Joe Seletsky, falls to 5-1. Flyweight contender Laura Murphy extended her winning streak to 3 with a 3-round unanimous decision over Roxanne Mataferi. Murphy wobbled Mataferi with a right hand early in round two, and while the lost vegan got her legs back, Murphy's confidence grew. With under three minutes left, Mataferi again saw to take down in a grueling exchange along the fence, but it was Murphy who took her foe down and remained in control. Justin James defeat Frank Camacho by TKO, in round one. Making his UFC debut on less than a week's notice, Justin James wasted no time making an impression in lightweight action, as he halted veteran Frank Camacho in less than a minute. On the attack from the start, Las Vegas James went right after Camacho, and 30 seconds in, he scored a knockdown with a left hand. Camacho tried to recover, but the relentless attack of James was too much, with the final right hand bringing in referee Herb Dean to stop the fight 41 seconds into round 1. With the win, James, who replaced Matt Frevola, moves to 16-4. and four. Camacho, who missed weight at 158 pounds, falls to 22-9. and nine. In women's division Jillian Robertson defeat Courtney Casey by submission, rear naked choke, in round 3. Apparently cruising to a clear-cut decision win, flyweight prospect Jillian Robertson kept working for the finish against Courtney Casey and she got it via submission with 28 seconds left in the fight. Robertson take down Casey nearly locked in an armbar, but the Savage got loose and settled into her opponent's guard. Casey stayed busy with her strikes from the bottom position, but out of nowhere, Robertson switched positions took Casey's back and sunk in the rear naked choke that forced a tap out at 4.32 of the final round. With the win, Robertson moves to 8-4, while Casey falls to 9-8. Mark andre Beriddle defeat Oscar Pichota by TKO in round 2, in his fourth UFC fight. Canadian middleweight Mark andre Beriddle delivered on his promise as he stopped Poland's Oscar Pichota in the second round to secure his first octagon victory. Pichota stayed busy with his strikes, but late in the frame, Beriddle surged, and after he hurt his foe, he finished him with ground strikes. The time of referee Chris Tognoni's stoppage was 4.50. Quebec City's Beriddle ups his record to 12-4 with the win. Pete Chota falls to 11-4. Tisha Torres defeat Brianna Van Buren by unanimous decision. Entering the octagon on a four-fight losing skid, strawweight contender Tisha Torres rose to the occasion to snap that skid, as she scored an impressive three-round unanimous decision win over Brianna Van Buren. With the win, the number 11 ranked Torres moves to 11-5 while Van Buren falls to 9-3. Bobby Green defeat Clay Guida by unanimous decision. After being on the wrong end of several close decisions over the years, talented lightweight Bobby Green finally saw one go his way as he outpointed Clay Guida over three rounds. Guida scored an early takedown in the third round, an important moment in the close fight, but once standing, Green's accurate striking attack kept him in good stead, even as Guida kept the pressure on with his grappling for the rest of the bout. Jim Miller defeat Roosevelt Roberts by submission, armbar, in round one. Lightweight veteran Jim Miller showed that he still has some tricks up his sleeve against the young guns of the division, as he submitted Roosevelt Roberts in the first round of a 160-pound catchweight bout. With the win, 
Miller, the man tied with Donald Cerrone with the most fights in UFC history with 35 moves to 32 and 14 with 1 NC Roberts falls to 10 and 2. Bilal Muhammad defeat Lyman Good by unanimous decision. Bilal Muhammad mate in three wins in a row as he scored a unanimous decision over Lyman Good in an exciting welterweight contest. Scores were 29-28 across the board for Muhammad, with the win Bilal moved to 17-3. While Good falls to 21-6 with one no contest. Muhammad was the busier of the two in an opening round of that remained on the feet, and while the Chicago product used his movement effectively throughout, it was clear that the superior firepower belonged to Good, but Muhammad surged with a late takedown to put a cap on the fight. Raquel Pennington defeat Marion Reno by unanimous decision Bantamweight contenders met on the main card, with number 6 ranked Raquel Pennington defeating number 10 ranked Marion Reno via unanimous decision. Pennington, 11-9 had success with her left hook in the opening round, but Reno, 9-6 with one no contest, stayed busy with her own strikes and used her clinch work to great advantage in the final minute. Reno kept charging in the third round, but Pennington was just a step ahead all night, as she put together a steady work rate to take a well-earned decision via scores of 30, 28, and 29, 28. In the co-main event, Josh Emmett defeat Shane Burgos by unanimous decision. Josh Emmett and Shane Burgos were expected to deliver fireworks, and it was like the 4th of July at the Apex, with Emmett using two third round knockdowns to break open a close fight and win a three round unanimous decision. With the win, the number 8 ranked Emmett, now up to 16 and 2 while the number 10 ranked Burgos falls to 13 and 2. In the main event, Curtis Blades did exactly what he said he was going to do when he defeated Alexander Volkov via unanimous decision. Blades had no problem opening the fight with a successful single leg takedown second in, and while Volkov rose quickly, he was put back down moments later. Blades stayed busy with knees as he put his weight on Volkov, setting a grueling pace. And whenever Volkov got up, Blades sent him down again, turning in a dominant first frame. With the win the number 3 ranked Blades, now 14 and 2 with one no contest while the number 7 ranked Volkov falls to 31 and 8. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See you at the next UFC event.